Um, and, and that brings us to this gentleman here. Peter, yeah. how you doing? Doing well, doing well. Thank you very much for having me. Good. Tell us, Peter, a little bit about what uh, what we, we should expect or what you're doing here. Sure thing. Um, well, first, I really do want to compliment you on a really great uh, expo. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, no, yeah. it, it, you did a great job putting this event together. And I think one of the benefits of having an expo like this is that, uh, specifically when we're talking about this industry, uh, we have a lot of people who are, I guess, coming from uh, the side of the industry that existed pre-legalization, and you have a people, a lot of people coming to this industry that uh, only got interested in it after post-legalization, sure, right? Absolutely. And the seeing the interplay of those two people and those two types of people, like corporate world, and I say the less corporate world, uh, the, uh, intermelding here and talking and exchanging ideas is a very important thing that needs to happen in this. What's going to push this industry forward yes. in a positive manner? So I, I want to definitely again well, appreciate congratulate you saying you. that. Very, yeah, no, it's, very it's great. well said, it, Peter. Yeah, yeah, no, as an exhibitor, this is what I pay for. Nice. Know? And so I, I, this is yeah, really what absolutely. what needs to happen. And I'm glad you're providing a forum to make it happen. So it's great. I appreciate you saying that. That's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. That's yeah. awesome. And I, and, you know, it makes me feel good that you feel that way as well. I really appreciate the way you said that. Yeah. No. And, and like to go off of what you said, and I thank you for the segue. Uh, we sell vaporizers, or we produce vaporizers. So to really put it in perspective, if this was a cell phone convention, Transpring would be Foxconn. Yeah. <laughs> We're based yeah. in the same city. We're based out of Shenzhen, where yeah. ninety percent of all vaporizers in the world are made, and we produce the actual brands that you consume. So you may not know us, but you definitely know the brands that we produce for. Yes. And I can't say them here, but no, yeah. it really, it, it, what we do is help provide a platform, a vaporizer platform for brands to engage in and then help those brands express themselves through that platform by Very creating well. different looking vape pens, different finishes, different branding options for them, and then also help them meld their software to the hardware. Software being the oil and the hardware being the actual uh, vaporizer technology. The battery. Right, right. Getting those two things to play the ball together yeah. and play, do it together well without leaks, without any failures. Quality. It is a very hard thing to do and a lot of people underestimate it, but it is what we focus on solely. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. So so run us by, I mean, I see so many different ones there and I mean, I, and I know that I'm sure you have the, 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 the less qualified ones to the, some of the nicer nicer ones. So yeah. give us kind of a, a, you know, for our listeners that are out there trying to kind of diversify and understand what they're made out of and how they work. Can you kind of give us some, some oh, most engineering definitely. action? Yeah, most definitely. So uh, a lot of brands, like if you are a cannabis oil producer, right? you make cannabis oil for a living, you are trying to target a lot of different demographics. You're trying to, you might be trying to uh, target, let's say a high-end demographic, right? Go for that luxury look, kind of like Mercedes-Benz. Or you might be trying to be like the every man's vaporizer, something that everybody can afford, anyone can walk into, pay $20 for it, and have their vaporizer. The importance of vaporization for anybody who doesn't know is what I kind of affectionately like to term the brown bag effect. Right. Um, if you walk down the street with an alcoholic container, you're legally and socially obnoxious, right? Yeah. The cops have to pull you over. They, they don't have a choice. They have to pull you over yes. because you have an alcohol, open alcohol container. Yes. Mothers with children walking down the street are going to give you dirty looks because you're sitting there doing something that's not they don't want their children to see. Yes. Take that exact same alcoholic container and drop it into a brown paper bag. How many people do we see doing that every day, yeah. right? That brown bag lets police pass by that person and address more serious crime issues, rapes, murders, what have you, right? Yeah. They can, it allows law enforcement, law enforcement knows exactly what's happening, Right. they just get a, a, a pass to go address more serious issues. Sure. And then the mother walking down her street with her children doesn't have to be, she knows what you're doing too, but it doesn't smell so bad. Right. It, it's not something that they have to worry about their kids then imitating immediately right when they go out there, right? right? It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, and so th that's what vaporization does. And then what we do is we basically, like all these cartridges that I have displayed before me, uh, constitute a range of different prices, a range of different price points, a range of different looks, because ultimately what we're here to do is to help brands express themselves through this hardware. So if, let's say, the main uh, uh, concern for your brand is to be an every man's brand, you want to be a brand that is able to be sold to every person that every person can afford and have and experience this vaporizer revolution. Well, we have cartridges that are cheap, but still function very well that have under a 1% failure rate so that you can go to market with a reliable product that can be enjoyed by millions and not have to worry about technical issues rearing their ugly head. Love right? it. Then we have like very, very high-end, gold-plated, rose gold-plated wood tips. If you really wanted to go for like, let's say a high-end natural but still very techy, something that would look uh, perfectly at home right next to your gold iPhone. 
absolutely, we can do that too. And then those, these are some of the vape products that I have. And then in terms of what is inside the vaporizers, we have like, you know, some cars come with a V6, some cars come yeah. with a V8. Yeah. We have the same thing in the vaporizer components. If you want to blow clouds and that's like, that's an expression of your brand, like you want to be known as the brand that produces huge clouds of vape, we can give you that equipment. If you are not so concerned about that and more concerned about money and making it affordable for people, that we can do address that need as well. So sure. whatever your need is as a brand in the vape market, you guys we can have address the, it. That's awesome. Now, right. how long have you guys been around? We, so Transpring has been around since 2004. Wow. But from 2004 to about 2012, it was strictly a trading company. Okay. Um, now, I didn't start Transpring. Transpring was actually started by a man named Frank Chen. Okay. And he is the owner and operator of the factory, but also the owner of all the patents behind it. I am the president of Transpring USA, which is the USA-based sales and service office, and we warehouse a lot of these. And I primarily serve to integrate what's happening in the American market with the production that's happening in the Chinese market. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Very That's nice, awesome. Yeah. 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 So and, and, and filling a void. Right. Exactly. And, <laughs> and well, it's really filling a void in knowledge. Uh, I'll stop pounding on the table. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, we were but, finding uh, you for that. You'd be busted. Oh, my God. <laughs> we don't own the company, huh? <laughs> I talk with my hands, and I seem to emphasize with pounds. So yes. I, I'm going to try to avoid that. We used to do that, too, until the station said, hey, you guys got to stop that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, let, let everybody know, because we're, we're, we're running out of time here, and sure. I know Dan's sure. got to get back to the, to, the, to the scene here, and I'm sure you've got to get back to your booth. Let everybody know where they can reach you guys at, and, and if they wanted to, you know, engage with you, uh, maybe your social media and website. Sites and email? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, if you go on Facebook, you can find us um, at Transpring. Uh, you, you can, if, basically, if you go to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just go at Transpring, you will find us. Gotcha. Um, go on to Google, type in Transpring, you will find us. You will find everything on us. Go on to YouTube, type in Transpring, you will find us there as well. And then if you want to contact us, of course, Transpring.com. That's T-R-A-N, Tran, like transformative, and then Spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, dot com. Um, and if you want a translation of that, tran, spring, it's like transformative, ever-growing, ever-growing change. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, just I if you guys that. wanted to make sense of that name. Very nice, Peter. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Dan, again, let everybody know where they can reach you. Uh, I'm at the LA Convention Center right now. <laughs> 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 CWCBExpo.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come to the, C yeah. Yeah, come to the uh, Los Angeles Convention Center. I'll meet you there. That's it, man. <laughs> Get on out of here. Again, oh, it's yeah. always a pleasure to be here at the Cannabis World Congress and Business Expo. It's 2017. It's an amazing time. Thank you guys Thank all you. for being Thank here. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back after this.